Okay, so just a lot of kick dick stuff going on. Um, we have another voice actor who stepped into the ring. The much respected, the very much feared, the very much uh, uh, something, something, something. The voice of Grumpig. Yeah, the piggy. All right, let's go ahead and cue the intro. So uh, I saw this by Pixlexia. Um, I did a quick video about this thread that uh, Mr. Jamie McGonagall uh, had started. The funny thing was, I actually didn't know he was a voice actor at the time I did the video. Um, I wound up jumping into the thread after that. Uh, Less some opinions. Wound up talking to someone who, uh, oddly enough, their name talk equality, but they didn't really seem to believe in equality. But, you know, it's neither here nor there. Um, was almost immediately blocked as soon as... Uh, uh, Mr. Grumpig decided to step in. Um, it didn't actually comment to me, which was uh, perfectly fine, honestly. It doesn't seem like he has very many opinions. He's actually stuck in the loop. But uh, here's the thing. I don't have an, uh, an issue if you know, you're going to have a disagreement online. Just, uh, I just wanted to read this specifically because it kind of gives you the mindset of these uh, uh, mentally deficient idiots. Um, Pixlexia. So for once, I was being kind and calm talking to someone about the case. I was reasonable and courteous, and this is what I got before being blocked. Given what I've seen Pixlexia tweet out, that's actually a very salient statement. Uh, this really is just a sad sack. I didn't even get to insult him. Let's go ahead and read it. He's still fired. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. One more time for those who are being willfully ignorant. First-hand accounts are evidence and not hearsay. Cases are won every day without a shred of physical evidence. Stop listening to hack YouTube lawyers who are getting paid to keep you arguing about this. Listen to me, the voice of Grumpig. I had to do that. I'm sorry, guys. That was probably really... That's just how I imagine this asshole talks. Um, anyways. Uh, yeah, I mean, look. I, I think Pixelessia tweeted up something out. It didn't sound like it was that bad. And, uh, something about being a barista and approving of this light roasting. Pretty funny. Um, yeah, here, here's the thing about this, right? First-hand accounts are evidence. Um, they, they actually are. But the problem is, and Pixelexia states it right here, for it to be considered evidence, you have to have it stated under oath. There are also barely any first-hand accounts, and they are all either changed from what first claimed or copy-pasted. Was a good effort, though. I'm glad you tried. And that is true. Most of the claims are just, they, they've been changed several times. They've either been outright debunked when they were given a time and place, um, or they are just literally a copy-paste of someone else from another anonymous person. Um, you can't, I mean, you, I guess you could go to court with that. But here's the thing. If you look at the uh, legal answers that uh, Monica and uh, uh, Cuckboy provided, they're not using their own claim against Vic. They would rather cite Pool, a uh, pretty ugly little liar. So that's, uh, yeah, that's something. Let's keep going. He's still fired! You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. I'm not going to stop. Sorry. <laughs> uh, like I said, he's uh, stuck on repeat. That's literally when what that whole thread's about. Um, every single time uh, my bro checks into it, it's basically the same shit. Just, he's still fired! And uh, and the parties involved are still sued. <laughs> I think he could have just ended it there, Pix. Uh, I get that you can't take it to court because you have no leg to stand on. But stop embarrassing yourself. I dealt with sexual assault, and I brought it to court. I know the process. Fake victims hurt the real victims out there. That is 100% true. Um, I've been pretty open about this. I've had members of my family assaulted. Um, they had to go through that process. I'm not saying it's easy. It's actually very difficult. Um, and people are right. It doesn't always work out the way that you want it to. But there is a legal process in place. And you do hurt victims, hurt real victims, when you decide to brigade people over social media because you basically draw into question every claim at that point because you just turn everything into this bit spectacle um now here's the thing um i guess grump pig uh, uh it's very uh, upset at this point because this is how he responds when being told he's talking to someone 
um, who's dealt with sexual assault. You're an actual idiot, aren't you? Please stop while you're behind. Spend more time outside of your mom's basement. Get some air or a job. Vic doesn't care about you. Sorry. Grump Pig does, though. And as any of the lawyers who aren't getting paid to keep this charade going will tell you, the case is DOA. Stop keep, so keep sending Nick entire lunch money. Just understand it's being sent on things like printing one tweet per page and coming up with utterly stupid arguments. Now, here, here's uh, my issue beyond the uh, voice that's ringing in my head right now. Um, the only one who's come up with utterly stupid arguments, as you probably saw in my last video over this idiot, would be this idiot. Just, uh, this has existed for a long time. Everybody knows if it existed for a long time. Why don't you speak the fuck up, dipshit? But whatever. Not, that's neither here nor there. Um, it's just this idiotic, uh, crusading. It's just saying he's guilty. He's still fired. He's still fired. Um, well, dipshit goes and voices a use of Pokemon. But I, I mean, this is how they respond when you tell them that you're a victim. Uh, it's basically telling you, uh, you're an idiot. Uh, shut up, go away, you live in your mom's basement, um, blah, 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 blah. Like, have you seen what voice actors, like, live in? They live in, like, shitty little apartments with three people there for a fucking one. I don't think you have any place to talk, Mr. Grumpig, but, yeah, whatever. Um, as far as Vic doesn't care about you, it seems like a really common insult, uh, mom's basement, blah, 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 blah. Like I said, they, these voice actors are basically NPC, just, uh, uh, new edition. Uh, sometimes they have something interesting to say, like, uh, you know, sending your lunch money, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I take that back. This is really just a standard issue that's been reformatted for a new way. Um, anyways, uh, Grumpig was fun to listen to. Uh, you can go and check out the thread. I was in there for a little bit before I was blocked by, I think, like, two or three people. Um, but they don't have anything other than to just keep repeating shit. Um, he several times said that nothing has been disproven or debunked. We know that's false, um, flat on his face. So, uh, just a dishonest little bag. Anyways, that's the video. Uh, send pics, Lexia, your love, uh, does some art on Twitter. Um, that's her at right there. Uh, pretty cool person anyway. Uh, take it easy guys. This has been another quick video. Um, unfortunately I don't have the camera working. I'm being a total boomer about this. And uh, I probably need my little brother to help me out. But I will fully admit, the DNA crows does not work without the D. This is the D in DNA crows, and I needed to hear that. It's just been, like, such a hard day, and it's so nice to get appreciated. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, please have a wonderful day. Like, comment, subscribe. It really helps out with the algorithm. Specifically, the liking, commenting, the subscribing is just for us. We love you. <laughs> All right, everybody. Bye-bye. And please, if you want me to have a better day, remember to tell us what you think in the comment section.